In this video, I want to introduce you to super sinks and super sources. So we know what a source is. Um, a source is identified as a vertex where the flow is just going out of it. Okay, so in this case, we've got two. I've labeled them as S1 and S2. That's quite a common uh, way to label them. So how can we add in a super source? Well, the idea is a super source allows you to link up all of your sources. So I'll call this S and it links these up. Now, these are effectively imaginary pipelines, if you like. And what we've got to do is add on uh, the arrows that go with it the direction of flow and also a capacity. Now because they're made up they just need to have a capacity that works with the system that you've got. So because you've got 10 and 20 going out of that this would need to be at least 30. Now you could put 100 on that, you could put 300 on it, okay, but it needs to be at least 30. So the best way to remember this is just to add up all of the flows coming out of your source and have that as the capacity of this arc. So 50 plus 10 is 60. But by rights you could have 6 million there if you really wanted to. Okay. Then over here we've got uh, three sinks and so I'm going to put in a super sink, capital T. It's going to link up those three. And in the same way, 20 plus 40 is 60, 50, 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60. Okay, and now I've added in a super source and a super sink into my network. I don't know what's going on in the middle, lots of other edges, lots of other pipelines, doesn't matter. Okay, but that's how we add a super source and a super sink into the network.